Hi, Hi guys. guys, and welcome to Sisters in the City with me, Anna Bikini. And me, Mandy Bikini. Drop my hair like this. I think it's so cute. It's like an olden, like, olden hairstyle. Olden what? hairstyle, is that the right word? No, it's like, not meant to be that. It's meant to be giving ghetto. Like back in the day, I feel like in school. Is it? No, <laughs> I know. I like it though. It's really cute. It's meant to be like Maddie from Euphoria vibes. It's so cute. Really? Gingerbread likes it as well. Every time I do it, he's like, I love your hair. Every single time I've done it. No which is like very rare. <laughs> like I've probably done it like twice or three times since I've known him. Every time I do it, he's like, oh my God, I love your hair. Really cute. Maybe Suits I should do you. this. Like, But then, I don't know, you just said olden times. It's giving like... It just reminds me of like in school when we used to do it. It make me look younger. <laughs> So guys, today's episode, we're going to be doing Would You Rather? So Manny, do you know what that means? Would you rather? Like, would you rather do this? Would or you rather that? get fucked by a horse? Okay. Or? Or an old, wrinkly, fat, homeless man that hasn't showered in years. and does... A man, Mandy. A really? human over animal. I don't yes. know, because if the horse is telling him nice, I don't know. Um, smell is a very big thing for me. No, because animals are like sacred. It's like what if the horse anim- is on it though. What ana- the horse is on it? It's animalophilia. Animalophilia. <laughs> oh God, you're killing me. You're <laughs> killing me right now. But would you rather's are hilarious. Would yeah. you rather? All right, Cowslick has sex with like a celebrity, the hottest celebrity. Yeah. Like Megan Fox or Kim Kardashian or something, and you get a billion pounds. Yeah. Or would you rather him be loyal for the rest of his life? And you know for a fact that he'll never see another woman for the rest of his life. Yeah. Okay? But you're going to be broke for the rest of your life. That's a stupid question. Obviously, I'm taking the billion pounds. I'll put Megan Fox on a plate for him. I'll literally watch it like having my I'll, I'll, be, I'll be counting my money, bro. I'll be, I'll be literally having my popcorn watching it. It's really it. bad, though. You know, it's really bad that we're like this. Yeah. <laughs> it is, isn't it? But, I mean, of course. It is what it is. I'm saying... But okay, so before we do that, how was your morning? All right, well, last night I got home after doing the podcast with you and obviously Ginger Beard was at the pub. There's a pub down our road called Cockin. And he likes very, to get his He li- likes to get his cock in. It's very convenient, cockin. you know. <laughs> Seeing as like, you know, he's so obsessed with his like, boys, 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 lads, boys, lads, boys. football, football. And he goes to this bar, this pub called Cockin down my road. So anyway, after that, he came home. So he was home before me, yeah? I got home. He's literally like brought like his whole crew back there. And it was quite it was quite nice actually because his sister was there, his sister's friends, everyone was upset, some were playing cards, some were watching football. And I was like, Gingerbeard, I need to go to sleep, yeah? Because I need to get up, do my cardio, because you know I'm on that fitness journey. And then I need to get ready again and do another podcast for today. So I can't chill. I came upstairs, chilled for like 10 minutes, talked to his sister and her maids. And I was like, look, I need to go to sleep. And he's so nice to me when he's drunk, yeah. Like, oh my God, who is the drunk gingerbeard? Like, he's like, Yeah, same with Cowley. I'm gonna be with you forever. And like, yeah. I'm like, Oh my God, like you're so romantic and reassuring. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even need to ask for it. Same with Cowslick. He's a different person. Let you go well. and I'm going to marry you and you've got nothing to worry about ever. Anyway, go to sleep. I fell asleep like a baby, yeah? Woke up to a shit storm, Anna, in my living room kitchen, yeah? No. There was bits of mess. chicken on the floor. Because they that even they'd ordered like bear kebab, like and junk food as I was going to sleep. And he was like, Do you want to stay up and eat with us? And I was so tempted. You're that girl now, innit? Like, I'm on a fitness journey yeah. and I'm on this like healthy journey. And he was really trying to force me as well. Like, have the wrap, have the wrap. I was like, no. Good. And then I woke up and I was like... How did the chicken get on the floor? In here, there was like a cabbage on the floor. There was like crisp, sweet, 20 million fucking alcohol bottles, a whiskey. Um, there was like rosés, wine glasses from the girls and whiskeys from the guys. And it was, like, it was a mess. Oh like a God. mess. Wow. And did you clean it all? I cleaned it all. And I cleaned it. Do you know what? It, why I cleaned it? Because I'm going in that room to get on my treadmill, and I ha- and basically first thing I do in the morning is have my coffee, and I like to have my coffee in a nice smelling, fresh, clean room. Yeah, I can't have my coffee in that room. Yeah. It's stunk of alcohol, stunk of food. But to be honest, I'm a really quick cleaner, really quick, and I don't really. I'm not doing it for him. I'm kind of doing it for myself. Yeah. And I mean, I thought in my head like I'm doing it for myself, I'm not doing it for him. I'm doing it for myself. And then I thought like when you love someone, you don't want him to get up on a hangover and do it. Yeah. You know what I mean, because yeah. he said to me last night, "Please leave the mess. I'm going to do it." But I don't want him to do it. Like yeah. I want him to get up and just enjoy his hangover. So. I cleaned that whole mess, put my little oud on. a good girlfriend. On. I know, right? <laughs> put my little oud bukhur on and it was like shining. The place was shining, yeah? And I had my coffee. And then you did your cardio. Did my cardio. And while I'm doing my cardio, I'm watching a series and it's called The Berlin Serial Killer. And it's really weird, man, Anna. You recommend it? Like, I do. This guy basically went around, like, 
so easily just having drinks of people with, in, with people in bars, putting something in their drink, and that person died. Wow, that is... And it really made me paranoid, yeah. Like, seriously, guys, do not take a drink of anyone, man. Yeah. Don't take a drink of anyone. Okay, this guy was a serial killer. The bartender pour your drink. Yes. Yeah, and always get bottles with, like, the lid on it. Yeah. Because yeah. that guy wasn't even doing it for, like, sexual stimulation or nothing, Anna. He was just doing it because he just wanted to feel that. You know, you, he's basically poisoned them. And then, like, he just likes that time of, like, they don't know that they're going to die. Wow. Like, they've got, like, he's got, like, 15 minutes of, like, kind of watching them. And they're like, oh, I don't feel very well. I don't feel... And just, like, it really scared me. And I thought, mate, the amount of times I've taken drinks of people yeah, in my life... Too. It's so dangerous. Anyway, that oh, was it, basically. That was that my... we watch, honestly, they're so stressful. I wanna, my, obviously, mum's living with me now and she's like, why do you watch these, like, horrible documentaries? They're going to play on your mind. They're going to they're gonna change you. Stop it. Like, I don't know why I watch They do, them. though. When I'm watching, know. like, these things, I get my OCD, which, like, my OCD ticks, which I don't even have, yeah? And I start getting them. Like, when I'm watching them, I keep doing this with my head. Really? Or I, like, I just get paranoid. Or blowing out. It's really weird. And do you know why I'm doing it? It's like when I'm watching it, I'm like, I get this paranoid, intrusive thought that if I'm breathing in while like the serial killer is speaking, like his confession tapes, like I'm going to take in his psychopathic energy. So then I start blowing out like... <laughs> it's really funny. Wow. I'm like, so it's such a funny thing. If you guys don't know, you need to listen to our old episode, OCD or something. Yeah. What's it called? Uh, intrusive thing. I don't know. It's about OCD. I'm sure I'm not the only person that has like done weird stuff like this. Like, yeah. I know when I'm doing it. Like, Mandy, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Mandy's like had o OCD and interesting yeah. thoughts before. So like, it, it, for people that don't know, it probably doesn't make sense what you're saying right no. now. But yeah. I don't want to become the next Berlin serial killer. So I have to like do these weird like super... It's like touch wood thing. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Anyway, it's so weird. Yeah, so my boobies are healing very well. Shout out Dr. Sir Can Bauta. I, I really want to go to him. He's amazing. And like whenever I post him just to say thank you on my story, like I get so many messages from people saying, he's so good, isn't he? He did my nose. Really? He did my this. He did my that. Yeah. Oh my God. But he's changed my life so far. I mean, it's still not fully healed, but I'm... I can't believe it. I'm so happy so, for yeah. you. Speaking of nose, you know how I've like, always been like, oh, I want a nose job, I want a nose job. So the person I was going to go to for a nose job, yeah, or like go for a consultation, I know you're hating me right now. So, so annoying. I went on Google and I searched him, yeah? And I went on his Google reviews and he's only got one review on Google, yeah? And like, this is the creepiest thing ever. You need to listen to this. He's huge, like does like Saudi princes and whatever. He's been famous on real stuff so many. But on Google, which I Googled him, only one review. So then I went to read his review, yeah? Anna, this review sounds like it was written from me in the future tense. Why? It was, I'm not joking, it was a sign from God. I know it was a sign from God. It's giving me goosebumps talking about it. Why, what did it say? Anna, it was so scary. It was like my future self had written this. And God was basically sending it to me as a message of like, don't go there. Yeah. And it completely changed everything for me. Like, it's out of my head now. Like, I was going to even go for a consultation. I'm not even going for a consultation. So this review basically said this. I love my nose. And I literally went for the tiniest, tiniest tweak ever. Like, I said to him that I really like my nose and the way it looks. And I just want the smallest tweak where no one's even going to notice. And I want from... The front of uh, front way, my nose to absolutely stay the same. I don't want anything to change at all. The only thing I want is from the side profile th to be shaved down here the slightest, slightest amount. And we spoke about this a few times. He gave me so many assurances and I was so adamant that this is all I wanted. I basically wanted a change that nobody would even notice. Like a like what I always say I would want, like hypothetically. Because I go in and when I come out, the biggest shock... He assured me so many times. We had so many imaging things. I come out with a completely different nose. Like, he basically done his own spin on it and was like, and this is like the, one of the world, most world famous rhinoplasty surgeons. And he made it so tiny, so different from my nose. And I was like broken, shattered, destroyed. Like, I didn't even look like me anymore. And he was like, it's like a new um, haircut. You need to get used to it. And, she, and that basically was so scary because it was almost like how common is it to find someone who basically writes something that you would have basically gone and said you wanted exactly that yeah I mean I can't concentrate on what you're saying because I just find you so annoying <laughs> like the fact that you're even searching for nose surgeons and stuff like it's so annoying like your nose is perfect 
But everyone from the side, can you see stop it? Can't... Attention seeking, stop being annoying. From like, the side, it's after like everything that's happened to us, like, why have you not learned anything? That you go and go and change something that's already perfect. Well, on anyway, you. God sent me that sign. Stop and God sent me that sign for a reason because I am never even going to consider it. Okay, again. well, I don't even care if you go and do it and it fucks up because I'm not there for you if it does. Because seriously, I'm not, I've had enough. Yeah, she's a good sister. She loves me. No, people see are going to comment like, them. Anna, leave let, her, let, 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 her live. let Mandy live. <laughs> Why are you having a go at Mandy? <laughs> you should be supporting her. I think because I'm crying all the time about my scars and like the, dis, like the unsymmetrical like disfigurements that I've got from like BBLs that I didn't need. So it's like, if you don't need something, don't do it. If something's not broken, don't fix it. Yes, exactly. Anyway, I'm anyway. talking too much. Shall we start Let's the start. episode? Okay, so the first one we've got, which is like probably the main one um, that loads of people sent, and I think we've answered it before in past episodes, it's would you rather cheat on your partner or be cheated on? I think we agreed, both of us, that we'd be cheated on. Cheated on? No, you said you'd rather cheat, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I'd rather be cheated on. Yeah, we'd definitely rather be cheated on. Do you know on. why it's easier to move on and recover when you've been cheated on? Because you, you know that you're a good person, you're a good soul, you've done good, yeah. and that person's going to miss your amazing soul. Yeah. And you're just going to bring that yeah. blessing in someone else's life. Exactly. They're going to suffer. The feeling of guilty, like being guilty is the horrible. Feeling. Yeah, yeah, it weighs you down. So yeah. definitely be cheated on. What about, would you rather find out about a one-off cheating that your partner did years ago? Right, all of these about cheating. Or live in ignorance that, and they never did it again. That was actually I would rather you. fucking find out, mate. What you want about? He cheated on me at one point and I'm going to just carry on like not, not, no. Are you mad? <laughs> Are you mad? Are you actually mad? I'm going to live a lie. It was once... Years ago. It was years ago. I only remember <laughs> Gingerbread for three years. <laughs> I've only been with it, so or, you're telling me like, yeah, okay, look, from the moment that we become a, official, exclusive, yeah? Yeah. Like, if you're you cheating on me, I want to know. Yeah, so if he did it once three years, two years ago, you'd rather know now or live in ignorance and never find out and he never does it again. I don't know, you know, actually, now I'm thinking because like, you know, that, Happy you know when I like you first this. become like official... Is that very That's gray, that very that weird, like, gray how, are we actually going to, are we actually boyfriend and girlfriend? Yeah. Like, we've just become boyfriend and girlfriend a week ago. Like, how deep is it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a very weird but stage. But I still would rather know. I would rather know, yeah. mate. <laughs> because at least if I know that I'm going to get my revenge and we can both <laughs> live in fucking misery. I'd rather know, I'd rather know. Okay, would you rather have a finger as a tongue or a tongue as a finger? <laughs> I'd rather I'd have, have a, tongue, a, a, tongue, a tongue, tongue as a finger. I'd rather have yeah, we could yeah, because have you could cover two it. Two penises at the same time. What? I, I, said, I, said, I don't understand the question. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the question. Would you rather your tongue yeah. be a finger? Yeah, or my finger be a tongue. Yeah. Yeah, if my finger's a tongue, I've got two tongues. Or to suck the dick. Your dick. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, because... What? A finger is always there, everywhere, in front of everyone. Everyone can see it's a tongue. Oh, yeah. But if it's your but finger it's finger. and a tongue... I know, you're speaking right now. I can see your tongue. I, there'll be a finger sticking out. Yeah, but that's fine. You we could almost not tell. That'd be great a... for a lesbian if she had a finger in her mouth. Yeah, because... It'd be incredible. What do you mean? How? Because when she gives, you know... Head. Head. Oh, yeah. There's a finger as well. She can do the suck and fingering thing at the same time. Whereas no. men always have to suffer because they're like, you know, they're like <laughs> punching themselves in the face. <laughs> I don't know. It's a very <laughs> sexual force. Well, what if it was a penis? Would you rather have a tongue as a penis? Or your finger is a penis. Obviously, I don't want to live with a dick in my mouth, do I? So, no, I'd rather have my finger as a penis. I'm going to slap men in the face with a dick. <laughs> okay. You know, I got so many horrible ones sent and it was like horrible. Really? I didn't even write them down. What were they? They were disgusting. What kinds? Incestuous. Incestuous? Like, yeah, they were disgusting. Like, would, would you, you rather, rather do an or... Like, no, it was just absolutely disgusting. I didn't even want to go there. Um, but there was stuff like, would you rather you sleep with your sister's boyfriend or, sh your, or she sleeps with yours? That's a very good question. <laughs> I'd rather sleep with your boyfriend than you sleep with mine. Fuck that. You ain't going anywhere near Gingerbread. <laughs> Me and Kazlik get it all. Oh. I'd rather you sleep with Kazlik as well. What? Yeah. Is Gingerbread that bad? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you mean about Gingerbread? Why don't you want to sleep with him? I'd rather... You're really horrible. Like, a, like if I, he finds out, I'd rather really you really be upset. the guilty one. <laughs> what if it's life or death? What if it's like... No, I'm joking. Because I'd rather not do that to you. I know you're sensitive. What if it's like Maddie dies or has to sleep with Cowslick? We just have to have... I, obviously, I'd rather you sleep with Cowslick than die. And then you die. have to break up with him. To find another Cowslick one day. Why? I'd still stay with him. What? 
It was life or death. If it was life or death and you had to sleep There's a way of doing it, you know. We'd have to just put him to sleep with loads of night holes. <laughs> no. There is a way of man having an erection but being passed out. Really? Yeah, it must be. Kind of Google, Google it. Would you rather never see your boyfriends again or never see your sister? Obviously, I'm sorry. I mean, Best but you know, ginger bit of me, yeah. Obviously, or just in case no one knows, rather never see my boyfriend again. I don't know about Mandy. How do you feel? I don't know. I'd really have to think about this one. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dead. Oh my god, baby. <laughs> no, seriously. I was in the cafe. Yeah, and I was a ginger man. He was like, "Who's your best friend? I'm your bestest friend in it." I was like, "Well, you're not my best friend. You're not my bestest friend. But you're my. <laughs> you're one of my best friends. Yeah. You're my best friend, but you're not my best friend. Yeah. And he was like, "Well, who's your bestest friend?" I was like, um, Anna. "Anna's my bestest friend." He was like, "But her best friend is Kowsik. You do know that, yeah." <laughs> It was so funny. He was like, you do know that like she sees him as her best friend. Definitely I was like, not. no, she doesn't. And he's like, and it's getting really funny, yeah? yeah. He's like, no, no, no. Like, Kowsik is Anna's bestest friend. Like, How he comes he before know? you, yeah? How would he even know? <laughs> he's just being very, you know, his dry humor where his face is very serious. Yeah. You can't tell he's joking, but he is. And he's like, all right, well, just, you're not her best friend. Just know you're not her best friend. Like, how's it her best friend? And then he was, I was like, listen, shut up, man. You're wasting my breath. Like, yeah. I know more than you, no matter what you think. And he's like, I just wanted you to say I'm your best friend. <laughs> Didn't work, though. Didn't work. Okay, would you rather have an obsessive person love you or hate you? Obviously. This is a stupid question, isn't it? I don't even know why I put this one down. This is the shittest one. Hate you, they're going like, to kill obviously, you. Obviously, they don't want anyone to obsessively hate me. <laughs> But you know, people are more likely to murder someone they're obsessively in love with than somebody they obsessively hate. That's probably true. So I wouldn't be on the safe side. <laughs> I'd rather be obsessively hate. Most like of these killings are your obsessive loves. Yeah, that's so true. I didn't even think about that. Mm. When you obsessively hate someone, you don't end up killing them. Killing them. No. Why? Love is stronger than pain. Love is stronger. Love is a stronger emotion. It's more of a insanity creating emotion. Yeah, true. I've been like literally fiddling with my plat. I know. In my toes. I don't know if it's true. What have you been doing? I don't know, but hopefully it doesn't show on camera. Would you rather your toe fuck your plat? Or would you rather... <laughs> my toe fuck my plat? Manny, now you're just, coming out with any, you're just coming out with anything. Okay. Would you rather be with a broke man that loves you so much or with a... Anything apart from that. Or with a billionaire that provides for you but doesn't love you and cheats on you? Billionaire. Like, I didn't even have to think about it. Like, obviously the billionaire. Love goes out the window, mate, when there's no fucking food on the table. I mean, are we talking about broke? Like, absolutely broke. broke. Like, no. What am I going to do with that, with that love? I can't <laughs> eat that love. <laughs> Someone's love wants to fly first class. That's a famous quote from Love is Blind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do? That broke man would probably not be so in love with you if he was a billionaire. So you have to think. Yeah, because you never know how people change when they've got loads of money. Boy, you, can, you don't know a man until a man has power. Yeah, that's so true. I agree. Okay, would you rather fight one chicken to death every day? Every day? Or fight a gorilla to death with a sword once a year? <laughs> I want to know how I'm killing that chicken every day. I don't know. A different chicken? But you do eat chicken almost every, every day. day. You eat chicken every day. Maybe if you eat the chicken every day, it doesn't feel as bad because you eat chicken every day anyway, you know? Almost every day. Yeah, fight the chicken to death. <laughs> what, is the chicken fighting back? <laughs> is the chicken fighting but back? Also, the thing is, to I have to like go that... through that in the day, every single day, it's like today you it's wake up, really, oh, again, I have to I have fight to the fight chicken. <laughs> today again. Like, again. I feel like that evil and woman what... in Chicken Run. <laughs> what? What's Chicken Run? Anna, it's like, you know what? You're going to be the only person who asks who watched Chicken Run. It's so huge. I don't know what it is. What is it? It's a fucking movie. Is it a cartoon? Yes. Okay, because it sounds uh, like a cartoon. It is. Chicken Run? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I've never watched it. So you watch it. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what if you won one of the days? It's like a chicken that you really end up liking. Like, it's got something about it. It's a it. special. Yeah. That's a really good point. You know, but the, the thing is, a gorilla once a year with a sword... It's like, I don't gorillas are so similar fight. to humans. Like, we are, we were gorillas once, you know? We were, we were, you no? Know? Exactly. So it feels like murder, like, we're not going to eat the yeah. gorilla. It's like pointless killing murder. It's like... Yeah, the eye contact in yeah, that fight the emotion, different. Yeah, it would be way you know, more. And I've got the sword and he's a big gorilla. And it's so, like the chicken would just be like... Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> but the gorilla would be like... Yeah. Why? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's awkward. I've got a, Wife and yeah. kid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why are you doing it? Ooh, 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 ooh. 
<laughs> so what were you doing? The grill or the, the chicken? But the thing is, every day you've got a schedule. Like, yeah. every day, like, from, you know, you've got to go gym from 10 to 11 and then 11 to 12, I've got to kill that chicken. Yeah. And don't then, kill that. Fight the chicken. What if one's it? a really good fighter? <laughs> I'm kidding that gorilla once a year, man. Yeah, me too. I'm kidding that gorilla once a year. Because also, it'll be like 360 fucking five chickens a year. Yeah, it's gonna, not exactly. It's, it's going to take no a toll left. on your mental Nando's health. will be out, out, out of business. business. <laughs> All right, would you rather do doggy for the rest of your life or missionary? That's easy. Missionary. Yeah, 100%. I, I mean, I'm happy to do missionary for the rest of my life now. <laughs> because like, that's like for the rest of your life during sex, you can't see your partner's face. Well, you can if you go like that. Yeah, that, but I can barely have bend over me. Be seriously, I was fucking turning myself as well. No. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm happy with missionary from yeah. now. I like missionary, it's romantic. Very romantic. Sexual. Easy. I like doggy though. <laughs> I do like a doggy. Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? I, I know what I want. I want to know the cause. Yeah, me too. I wouldn't want to know the date. Like the day, you're just gonna always be counting down. Actually, there could be a different way to look at that. You might oh. actually appreciate your life and take every second. You wouldn't take every second for granted, and you just every day would be a celebration. Oh, but then it would give me anxiety knowing that, like, okay, I've got. What if you find out the day death date is next month? You do a leaving party. <laughs> <laughs> no, love you all. I don't know. It depends how you look at death. You know, we really need to change the way we look at death. Death is a part of life. Right. Like shitting. But you assume that you've got like a long... Everyone assumes that they've got, you know, a longer life. Do you know what? The cause of death would be more scary. Do you know why? Because like, let's say because, if it's a car accident. Yeah. Your car accident could be when you're 80. But like every single day you're going to live in anxiety around cars. Your whole life. Until you're 80. When your car accident could be 80. Or if it's like you got... I don't know. I can't explain it. You're going to be paranoid all the time. But if you know the date, you, don't, you know you don't have nothing to fear. You live fearlessly. Fact, and I'm going to start running around the motorways... Yeah, jumping you, off buildings. Yeah, I know I ain't gonna die until this date. <laughs> so would you go for a date? Maybe you know a date. But what if it comes out like next week? What if God forbid? What if it's like yeah, your cause of death is murder from a close person? Imagine your life. Oh, that's it. Forget about it. True. Everyone true. is making me like, trying to change my 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 mind, but I still I'm I gonna st- make people change their minds. I still think I'm gonna want to know cause. Really? I don't want to know that date. I don't want to be feel like I'm counting down, like ticking away to that date. Do you know, if you know you're the cause of your death, do you think you can avoid it? No. Because it's in your... Destiny. Yeah, that's it. Do you believe that? Like Final Destination. Remember that film? You never watched that scary movie. I don't know. Whenever anything happens, mum always says it's, it's their destiny. I don't agree though. Come on, that's a lot of bullshit, man. People suffering out there. Their, their destiny. destiny. Yeah, I don't agree with that. No, it's not. It's all very getting a bit complicated Yeah, it's getting now. Really quite getting deep now. Dark, yeah. It was really fun and now it's dark. Yeah, okay, let's change it up. Well, actually, this isn't really changing up, but would you rather... Oh, bloody hell. ...start your life over with the knowledge that you have now... That's 100%. ...or live to 150 and never physically change? I'll live to 150. And get old. Yeah. I'll definitely not settle down now then. I'm like, sorry, change your beard. I've, I've got, got more another, time on my side now. I've got another 120 no, I'm years. joking. That's not nice to say. I would but, say but I'm joking. But 150 years and not change, but then everyone around you is going to die. That's fucking horrible. No, 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 no. I don't want that. Only if you stay with me, Anna. <laughs> Only if you stay with me, do it together. Yeah, but what about when we have kids and then like we get married and then they yeah. all die? And we're then it's just going to be And they're all going to get old and we're going to be still looking like we're 33. What do you mean? Our kids will still be alive? Yeah, our kids. No? No, I think we'll outlive our kids. Andrew, we'll outlive our kids. No, 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 we wouldn't. No, no, They'll no, be no. like 80 and we'll still look like we're 32, 33. Sorry, some Benjamin Button shit, mate. <laughs> Is what it is. So I mean, but if I could go back and relive really with the knowledge I have now, I'd be the first person to start Uber, Facebook, Instagram, everything. I'd be yeah. really rich. But no, no, you is, have to be a genius to start these things. Yeah, you know I mean, you you relive really it with the knowledge you have now. A lot of people had the ideas, Anna, but they couldn't actually put it into practice. They could actually create it. I, if I lived again, I'd have long, thick hair. <laughs> okay, I start Botox way earlier. I'd have no BBL scars. And I'd actually study in school, become a lawyer, and then start the to start the podcast earlier. Yeah, I'd do everything earlier. I'd do influencing. I wouldn't do I'd, no I'd time start, wasting. I'd do Love Island differently. Yeah, I'd like start working hard as soon as I got out of Love Island. Yeah, but yeah, I think I'd go back and relive. Yeah, I don't want to outlive so. people. But I don't know. You know the thought. But of I like, don't want to age as well. So I don't. You know, starting your life again. Yeah, as but long. knowing that, like. Okay, I started this again, but I said goodbye to my 32-year-old self and I'm starting again. But you know everything that's 
you know everything. Going through that way is so jarring. True. I'm not going to be funny, popular clown in school. I want to be like, fuck off, man. I want to know you in five so years. Leave me alone. True, so true. And like, even meeting Kalsik again. Oh, we have to go through that dating stage again. I'm not I'm not going to go forward with it. I'm not going to continue dating. Yeah, no, actually, you know what? I've changed my mind. I'm going to live to 150. Me too, man. Yeah. Look at how I look, man. I don't yeah. think, the way we're talking about this is like, like the option actually, is available. Oh, <laughs> if only. Would you rather live in a world where everyone's IQ is doubled or everyone's lifespan is doubled? Lifespan. You know what they say about people who've got high IQ? Yeah. They're fucking weirdos. It's already going downhill with all these AI robots and stuff like that. Yeah, I understand. And like now, you know, you're going, it's all self-checkouts and yeah. beep, 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 robots everywhere. You call up, it's a bloody... F- and imagine people's IQ exactly. go even higher. New creations are going to be made. I want to live... Yeah. You know when I watch films from back in the day, yeah? yeah. I'm like, I wish I lived in those days. No phones. Yeah. But then, we self but then we wouldn't things. be here doing this podcast. But still, like life must. I'm have sure been... we'll still be entertained in the entertainment industry somehow. Somehow, yeah. yeah. We'll be on the, the show. Only good thing tickets. about these self checkout robots is I don't have to deal with Zara customer service anymore. Yeah, the terrible. I must say they're very bad. They're very bad. Um. Anyway, I completely agree with you. I think double lifespan because people's IQ. People, it's dangerous. Yeah, but you know, people with a really high IQ, Anna, they are actually like. Yeah. Yeah. Like weirdos. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people who are really smart also like are a bit insane. Yeah, it's true. But like, I'm like that. Like, that's where I get my craziness from. Like it's my it's severely high IQ. <laughs> Would you rather be fat or poor? Poor. I'll get a rich man if I'm not fat. Wait, wait, wait. You'd rather be <laughs> 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 For you, that isn't that that no. Would you rather be fat forever or poor forever? Oh, now you're switching it up. Are you? I'll be fat forever then. I'll live a fat, rich life. Yeah. Yeah. What am I going to do a poor, skinny life? Yeah. What am I going to do that? <laughs> Money over everything. <laughs> Money over everything. <laughs> Money over everything. Would you rather oh have God. your brows done? Or or brows done? <laughs> or always have your nails done? Brows. I can live with natural nails. I actually want to be that natural nail girl. Someone I'm asked, see them on Instagram doing a reel. What do you mean? Like, no nail varnish? Just natural like, nail. They've got a natural nail. It's just so nice. And lady, you can't like, have nail varnish. You can never have it done. I mean, do I look like I wear coloured nail varnish anyway? You can't do French here. You think I'm not going to get my brows done? I don't know. For me, I think I'd be the other way. I would just have them like so, fluffy, messy brows. Yeah, maybe because you look like them, like white girls that can do that. Yeah. But I cannot be doing that. Yeah. I would like Borat sister. <laughs> yeah. I cannot have, not have my brows down. <laughs> yeah. My brows, my diamond. <laughs> right now, I'm going for a phase, growing out phase. Yeah, no, I can't wait for my appointment. Yeah, I am I'm finding so it really hard though, Anna. Do my brows look weird I right now? I don't know. I'm really shocked sure, because, you know, as soon as it gets to the end, like after I get my brows by diamond, it looks amazing. And then after it starts to wear off, like, I struggle. Yeah. And I, I tried to, like, recently I bought that refi, refi eyebrow thing because I thought, let me give that a go. It, yeah, it's, it did not I work. I just bought something. It's like TikTok viral. What is it? It's called By Ellie. Okay. It's like viral on TikTok. It? I just bought it and it cost about £21. Okay, let me know if it's good. When I'm it really comes... looking for something amazing for that will keep my brows up when, yeah. the, when it starts to, like, get towards the end of... Well, know. let's see if my thing works. Do you know, it's like the most famous product on TikTok. And I swear to God, I'm going to fucking try it on TikTok, yeah? And if it doesn't work, I'm going to stick on everybody's lying for these commissions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, would you rather never go on holiday again or never have any surgery or aesthetic procedure again? Never go on holiday. Really? Goodbye, son. Are you joking? You'd rather I stay even, in London. I don't even think about this twice. No, me is the other way around. No, no way. aesthetic. Nothing. nothing. Not even Botox. Nothing. I can't live without Botox. Yeah, I'd rather go on holidays and enjoy my life. Yeah. Stay in the UK. No, I can't Miserable. at all. We are complete opposites on this. You have not seen people that do not get that B-O-T-O-X, yeah? No. And plus, you know what? I know Botox is the hardest thing because like, I'm not going to go for any surgery ever again. Yeah. When you're older, you're going to need work done and you don't need any work done now but when you're older you might start feeling like you need a bit of volume here and there and like Botox yeah I'm sorry but like I can't be without it and do you know the sun is so bad for your skin no, I can... cannot stay in this miserable UK for the rest of my life yeah, and no. no holidays I rather have a bit of wrinkles have a little bit of a saggy skin I will still my sexiness and my beauty comes from my personality coming out 
What's the point of being a really hot, miserable person? I can't be... I can't... I can't be... Happy. Happy without those things. So I'll be a miserable person <laughs> in the sun on holiday. Oh, I don't know. This probably has to be the hardest one. Whoever came up with this one is a genius. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever came up with this one is a fucking genius. It's so hard. It, it is the hardest one. Do you know what? It would be easy if they asked me this question and I was like a United States citizen. Because like the US is so big. You could to LA, California, like, you know, everywhere. It's You're not huge, allowed to go Miami. on holiday. You have to stay in that city. Why? You went from country to city. I didn't say country. Holiday. You know, in the U in America, when holiday? they go from one state to the other, they call that a holiday. All right, fine. Well, I'm going for business trips <laughs> to Marbella. <laughs> That's Gingerbread. Gingerbread would do that, innit? That He'd be like, I've got a business bit. trip to Marbella. He'd be like, I've got a business trip in Miami. Yeah, when he goes out on a night out, he's like, I've got business meetings. He doesn't even do that anymore. He just knows it. it's just like, yeah. <laughs> All right. Would you rather... Oh, God. Work in business and be super rich or be an influencer and be super rich? Work in business. We're basically influencers now, yeah? Like being a podcast is basically an influence. Why? Who said that? No, 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 no. When I fill out these forms and they ask me occupation, I write podcaster. <laughs> I do not write influencer. <laughs> I'm an influencer. <laughs> um, I mean, I do like the idea of like being a business owner. Yeah. I but mean... Do you, what do you think of that like being... In business, obviously, your life will be kept private. Our life is very much out there. Yeah. And I, I enjoy podcasting so, so much. Like, yeah, I really... Passion. Because it's so easy for us and natural. natural yeah. And it kind of feels good. But at the same time, there's another side to it, which is hard, guys. Yeah, it's like, it's really hard. Time. Like, firstly, our private life is out there. Secondly, you know, what we get from, you know, our boyfriends. It's awkward when our boyfriend's family listens in. Really awkward. Really awkward. It's like the shit we say here, yo, like does spread like germs, mm -hmm. right? People hear it and the word gets around. Like we say this now. But you know what it is, we're in? So, and then also people judge, like, for example, you know, when people have judged our relationship before. And like when we talk about sex a lot and our sex lives, people judge that as well. Yeah. So when, you, when you're in a private, or you say things that are accidentally, you might say, like in the past, I, I might have like said things on podcasts and it's kind of bit me in the future. Has it? Like, I don't accidentally say it. Like, let's say I slate someone and then later on, that gives me anxiety because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Whereas if your private life is like, kind of like, no one's judging you in your private no. life. No one knows the in, ins and outs. That's why people who live a private life really love that they live a private life. And I respect that fully. Yeah. But this is just fucking what I'm good at. Yeah. Why but, would I take away all this entertainment and all this amazing, like, entertainment from people? So you'd rather stay the way you are and be rich. Do you know what it is? I don't know, man. Honestly, this one is very complicated. <laughs> you look like your brain's... <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I go to bed at night and it freaks me out. Like, it freaks me out that so many people know so much about me. Yeah. And I don't even know them. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That freaks me out. Yeah. I don't even know. So many strangers know so much about me. Mm. And they're just... They can make their own assumption. Yeah. Like... Why am I revealing so much? Or like Mandy is so funny, but then like maybe they'll be like, Mandy is got issues. She's yeah. got like, you know how people diagnose you? Yeah, or, like, bipolar disorder. Or this, that, or Anna, she's not letting Mandy live. Like these things aren't nice sometimes. Like Mandy gets treated like shit by a boyfriend. And imagine when I marry him, everyone's gonna be laughing at me. Or like Mandy, all these mental health issues have been diagnosed with. Thank you for that. <laughs> I mean, I have to say one thing though. I have an amazing, amazing talent. I think only I have this talent. And it's not giving a shit about what anyone thinks of me. Really? Oh, you, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but you I said earlier, shit. just before the podcast started, because Mandy's going after this episode with my mom and she's getting her fillers. My mom had like a little bit of filler in here years ago and she's getting that dissolved and then my mum's getting a whole new brand new like fillers Botox to make her feel good and basically we're doing it with for promo and Mandy was worried that you know people are going to troll mummy yeah that would cut me like a thousand knives yeah. like that would be like the sensitive side that would be my body would hurt like I wouldn't be able to even open those messages like you can say whatever you want about me but I feel like I need to protect my mum mm. from this world from this harsh Evil. world yeah. of social media and 
Like, I can handle it with me. Why don't you myself. feel like that about me, though, when people diss me? Because you're part of this industry. You're part of this world. Mums are like an the older. She's like from Iran. She's yeah. like, like, do you know what I mean? She yeah. doesn't understand this world of trolling. It would hurt her. It would really hurt her. But she, I mean, to be fair, she would never know. So it wouldn't really hurt her. It would just hurt me. Yeah. Because it's like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Interesting. Because if someone says something about you, I wouldn't fucking give a shit. <laughs> it's just something about mommy. She's so innocent. She's so innocent. So innocent. But you're so innocent. It's just she's an old not, villager she, from Iran, like, you know, yeah. like doesn't understand social media. No. But I'm excited for her. I'm excited for her. Um, anyway, guys, this is really, really fun. Subscribe, man. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribe <laughs> to our Patreon. It's worth it. Worth it. L'Oreal. Anyway, it's worth it. <laughs> is that L'Oreal? It's L'Oreal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, guys, we love you so much. Thank you for supporting us. And we will see you next week. Love you. Bye.